Hello and welcome to this video from the Trent Valley Railway, which is an introduction to the Halgen Container Crane. This video is part of a series of videos that documents the build and specifically here looking at the container crane for the layout. I've had this container crane stored away for a couple of years, ready for the scenery section here on the top baseboard. I've been testing this in the background to all the other work that I've been doing over the past couple of years. And now in this video, we'll take a look back at some of the first steps I've taken to install a container crane on the depot here and also look at some of the control functions of how this operates. So I'm in the middle of laying down here the first set of rails for the container crane. The base units here in grey with the rail set out did come in the box when I had this container crane. However, for the length I need along this container depot here, it doesn't come enough with enough base units in the box and trying to find some of those extension packs now uh, is probably near impossible. So I've uh, got some Code 100 flexi track here, which is this stuff now, which has been cut in half to create the same sort of uh, single rail at the edge of the base that comes with the pack. So I'll now lay that on either side get some glue down as well with the copy decks glue underneath for the rail at the top and then uh, hopefully wire it up and um, show you the progress at that point once these rails for this first section here are down on the container depot. Following on from that successful test on the short section of track that I'd laid, I then continued laying the rails for each side of the container crane down to the very far end of the depot. I've also then installed the three container depot lines for the trains and this then carries on to the very back wall where I've put in some buffer stops where the locos will sit at the very back be detached and another loco will take the container train out on the other end. So that's the work there to get the full length of the container crane run down the depot and we'll now have a look at the controls for the container crane. This is the control centre for the Haugen container crane. This control unit comes in the box with the crane itself. It has its own power supply that I've fed into it through its own DC supply. Coming out of this control unit, the red and the black wires then go to those rails that I've just laid down either side of the container depot lines. And this then feeds the power into the crane and the hoist to operate it from this unit. I'm now just going to show you a few things for how this unit works. And first of all, looking at operating the gantry. So you can either press the right, 
which will move it towards the very back of the container depot or either press the left So those are the functions for the gantry. If we now look at the hoist, these are operated, if you press the down, the hoist comes towards the near side here and pressing north or the up arrow on the keypad there and that goes towards the very back wall. To operate the hoist up and down, if I hold down on the function, pressing the down arrow takes it downwards, pressing the up arrow will take it back up, and you're also able to, if you need to turn the container around, spin the hoist using the left and right arrows. Finally, when I am connecting then to a container and have lowered the hoist on top of the container. The M for magnet is pressed. This will then attach it to the container and then you'll be able to move the container wherever else you want to across the depot. Once it's back down on the ground or on a wagon, pressing M will release that magnet and away the container crane can go. The last set of functions on this control unit are the lighting. So if I press on the G for gantry, this puts on the lighting for the gantry. And pressing it again will turn it off. The S is then for spotlight, where there are two spotlights behind the hoist mechanism. And what I've also done here is actually attached a sound module and written to that DCC decoder that's attached to the sound module the same CV settings as this control unit. So because the rest of the layout for the Trent Valley Railway is DCC sound, I thought it, thought it would be appropriate here also to have a bit of background sound for this container terminal. So when I press the S, it will do the spotlights and also provide some sound for when the container crane is moving and provide some warning sounds. Obviously those uh, sounds are applied manually effectively uh, and I can leave those on as well for however long I want to because sometimes they may put the warning sound on even when the container crane might not be moving anywhere and actually it might just be the hoist that is moving around the container depot. So here's just a, another view of that with the container depot in action and the container crane moving along with those sounds in the background. Thank you for watching this introduction to the Howgen container crane. There will be plenty more videos coming up on this container crane as the layout build progresses.